It's a barn door. Yeah. So unless you have hay for the floor, it probably needs to go somewhere else. <laughs> Back in there. <laughs> there's little sheep running all over the field. So like, there's no barn door. We're like, we have no door. door. <laughs> You've been like incredibly sweet so far. And like. The video is about what we're keeping back. <laughs> this is going, I don't know where it's going. Well, hello, welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I, we were sitting here chatting about the fact that farmhouse is dead. <gasps> yeah, That's why she's wearing black. <laughs> we're in mourning. <laughs> he's not because he's ready to move on. Yes, I am. <laughs> So today, we want to answer the most asked question that we have been getting, which is, OMG, I have a farmhouse. What do I do now that you're saying farmhouse is dead? That's a great <laughs> question. What do I do now? Yes. Wow. So today, we're going to be sharing with you the things that you should be keeping from your farmhouse style or things that if you were attracted to farmhouse, things that you will still want to put into your home from this movement because there's a lot of stuff that's really good about the modern farmhouse movement. So don't panic. We're gonna stock you up on a lot of ideas, some tips and tricks, and easy ways to segue your home into the new styles that are coming up. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's today. gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm excited about this. Me too. So make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. If you are like us and you love to follow the trends, you love to be able to create a beautiful home, if that's your thing, you're gonna love this channel. So <laughs> let's jump in. All right, so we have made a very bold statement. Today we've told you the farmhouse is dead and I know that there's a lot of you that are aggravated by that news because you have a farmhouse. And you have a sign to prove it. <laughs> it says farmhouse. Or pantry. <laughs> yeah. Or, or laundry kitchen. Room. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get rid of the signs. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna just send them off. What is it you said in the last one? Put them in a boat and <laughs> set them afloat. Which is labeled boat. And <laughs> yes. since you're at the beach and the house is labeled beach, you'll easy to find it. <laughs> yeah. We don't need the signs, okay? The signs are that people are craving something new. Farmhouse is dead because people want something new. So one of the things that I think should definitely stay are the wood beams. The gorgeous. wood flooring, the wood beams. Yeah. That is just absolutely gorgeous. You can 100% create a very luxurious feel in your space even with those things staying. That's huge, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's expensive. the expensive stuff. Yeah, exactly, it's expensive. The problem with the the problem with the reclaimed wood is that you most people did farmhouse did way too much of it. It's just everywhere. Like reclaimed wood has puked itself all over your house. And oh, there's yeah. barns all over the country that are just are missing <laughs> large just chunks. Have roofs. <laughs> there's bridges that are gone now. <laughs> Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff going. It's not good, guys, okay? <laughs> we don't need that much reclaimed wood in our homes. If you want to have a more refined style, leave the beams, leave the floor, but take down the reclaimed wood shelving in the kitchen, maybe put up a beautiful piece of art, maybe a gorgeous abstract, and yeah, instead yeah. start putting a lot of that stuff away and reducing the clutter, and it will help refine the home. If you've got that, uh, the reclaimed wood, like on the fireplace, you might want to take down that mantle and Just, replace it with something completely new. But like the stone is gorgeous, oh, right? There's yeah. a lot of elements that you'll be able to keep from that style. But reclaimed coffee tables is another example. Like, oh my gosh. It's just literally the center of your room. So if that's, if you've got the beams, you've got the floor, you've got the coffee table, and you've got all the accessories, it's just like, wow, this is really heavy on the farmhouse and the signs. Yeah. <laughs> the farmhouse. <laughs> Take it out and put in something that's a little bit more refined, a little more elegant, like this man. For every picture I send him of a sequined <laughs> or beaded bag, he sends me a, a picture from like CB2. Look at their new coffee tables. I'm like, I know, honey, I'm on the email list. <laughs> I am obsessed with these coffee tables. I love these like the, whatever, I don't even know what the materials are, the marble this and- This is why Farmhouse is dead because you were one of the biggest advocates for reclaimed wood. You wanted me to have reclaimed, I tried some reclaimed wood in this house. I loved okay? it. He loves it. And our flooring is actually reclaimed wood. Okay, it's not all bad. But you are just ready for something new. And I'm that, totally ready for something new. You are a perfect example. Of, That's so true. Yeah, there you go. So let's talk about the color white on the walls because I think they should stay. Trends are just gonna come and go, right? Beige is in right now. I was gonna Gray say, but you out. just said beige is in. I know. And we just painted our bedroom beige. 
Well, our major, actually, it's like a cream color. It's a creamy white color. <laughs> starts with a C, starts with a B. Still not white. <laughs> Still like a yellowish white. No. So what, what does that mean then? I think that you can use a lot of shades of white. You can go more crisp like we have. This is just eternal. Yeah, this is simply true. white by Benjamin Moore, basically, or Polar Bear by Bear. Those two colors are the exact same. This is never gonna go out of style. So if you painted your house white for your farmhouse, just keep it. You don't have to get rid of that white. It, we're gonna work around that because that looks really good. It just gives you a beautiful, crisp, modern feel to your space. That's the modern side of farmhouse. Like, keep that stuff. Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Keep that's that. Really good. So if you painted the house white, you don't have to go back and paint it beige. I know a lot of people have been asking me for beige homes because of course I do the exterior consultations for people as well. Yeah. We've done a lot of beige homes like taupe, those kind of colors. Uh, but you know, people still are painting them white and the reason why is it just makes it bright. And we paint our own house white. Yeah, that's true. You we know, did. You were like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you doubted me a little bit. Yeah. You saw the color going up on the I did. House. Actually, I didn't. I was like, mm, <laughs> what do I value more, the color of our house or our marriage? <laughs> yes, go for it. I didn't really trust. I didn't really trust that color at first. Yeah. And then when as soon as it went up on the first wall, I was like, dang it, once Boy, again, did we do this she is right. Yeah. Give me the T-shirt. Yeah, and we gave you. We did the black windows as well. That's another yes. thing that kind of is associated with the farmhouse movement. I think those things still can stay. It yeah. looks great on. It looks great if you have a farmhouse. That color palette still looks good. If you have a classic kind of American style, like Cape Cod, that color palette looks really good. Yeah. And then if you have a really modern home, that looks good there too. You might want, if you're gonna be exploring other colors, you can look at other things, but if you've got it, you don't need to get rid of it. What so. about the other four letter word? <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Gray. Because gray was a big part of Modern Farmhouse for a long time. Do you think so? Yeah, like always... white, black, and gray, That's all those true. gray sections. I think I just put it out of my head. <laughs> trauma related to it. I don't think most people want gray. That's just the truth. I think that gray is just really, it's kind of depressing. So yeah, if you like it, keep it. But otherwise most of us have just gotten rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about the other four letter word, which is barn. <laughs> barn door. <laughs> oh, barn door. <laughs> barn doors are a really big part of this style and they really dictate the way that a space feels. I still like the idea of the barn door. It saves you a lot of space in a room where you may not have the room for a door to swing open. So I know a lot of people just put them in because they were cool. Uh, but that's, yeah, I don't. It's a barn door. Yeah. So unless you have hay for the floor, it probably needs to go somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, like <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me why you'd put a barn door in your house. Well, I don't know, because it looks cool. I like the function. I think the function's incredible of a sliding door. Yeah. But I think it's time to put it back on the barn. Keep the animals in there. <laughs> grab them from the field, put like, them back in there. Ah, there's little sheep running all over the field. So, they're like, there's no barn. We're like, we have no door. door. <laughs> we're just going to roam freely. <laughs> they're like, freedom! That's I was about to say a bad word. <laughs> Get into this too much. I picture Sean the sheep and he's just like walking around like, he's like having a great life. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, stick with the poor, but inside their house. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> I think the mechanism of a sliding door is just a really good idea. It really can save you a lot of space and it can become totally a feature. I would just do it more hotel style where they do like really nice mirror doors. Uh, I know that we've been working on my sister's cottage and for her, she just literally loved the Chevron door. Oh yeah. So it'll be in upcoming projects for us. So I don't think you have to just get rid of it, but you may not want like the louver. You may not want reclaimed yeah. wood. And if the mechanism itself is super rustic, you may want to do something a little bit more refined, but the idea of the barn door, I think should stay. I love it too. The other thing that I think should stay, and this is going to be really good news for a lot of you because we've gone through wall color. We've gone through flooring, structural. doors, yeah, big, yeah, big expenses, big ticket items. So the next big ticket item that you should consider leaving and keeping is the classic furniture, the classic modern furniture that you've probably bought for this style. I think that a lot That's of good that news. it's huge, huge news. <laughs> it's a really, really good big news. deal. I mean, I love my gosh, love the beautiful like 
um, curved velvet sofas and stuff. I, oh, I'm still daydreaming about that myself. Well, that's the good news with this movement is a lot of people did buy white sofas. They did, and that can definitely That's stay. awesome. Yeah, so you can still, you could up the refinement in your space by replacing your sofa, by replacing the coffee table and the chairs. But if you have a white sofa and it's really classic, you can still use it in a more classic modern way by just simply taking off the burlap pillow, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Take off the Which are not comfortable anyway, let's just all admit it. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to cozy up on some burlap. Yeah, no. Remove Is that burlap, burlap you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever said that. No one's ever said that. No. No, no. Um, yeah, you're gonna distract me. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> I was thinking like a lot of people have like, you know, like pillows that have sayings on them in the farmhouse style. There's Sit little, here. Yeah, not that, but <laughs> cute, like <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. Like, I don't know, it just seems to be for some reason, people put that into the farmhouse style. You have a lot of like rustic uh, patterns, like yeah. little ditzy florals and little plaids. Lots of and, plaids. And things like that. Take all that out and instead put some velvet cushions on there and show them the little uh, oh. throw here. I would replace kind of the homey <laughs> buckets with something that's just a little bit more refined. This is just off of Amazon. So the things that we're talking about, they don't have to be expensive. So you might want to invest more money into them, yeah. but you don't have to in order to just tweak what you've got already. So adding in a beautiful blanket like this will really change it up and make it just look really sophisticated and chic. I would also consider switching out the rug. You can put it oh, back. Thanks. I can see him just looking at me like, how, how long, long do I hold this? <laughs> I can see the look on your face. <laughs> they can do. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so the other thing you might wanna get rid of as you're thinking through your spaces is the rug itself because the rugs that are made of jute, they're made of sisal or the oriental ones that, you know. Are distressed, it looks like they've <laughs> been around since turn of the ages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just a little rough looking and they just make the house feel less refined. So I would remove those. You don't want to have, oh, the boho ones, lots of boho rugs. Yeah. I would remove those and consider putting in something that's a little bit more sophisticated and luxurious. You can go with something. It doesn't have to be made with silk, but you want something that looks like it's made with silk. So a lot of the mm. polyesters nowadays, like the rug we have in this room, is just from Amazon. It's not very expensive. I'll, I've got on my Amazon storefront, I've got a bunch of suggestions. It's just an idea list that you can look at and then if you wanna buy something, you can, but it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. But ones that have just a more luxe, modern look, that's going to change the way your entire living room feels. So yeah, I think that, that the rug would definitely be- That's an awesome tip. Yeah. Let's talk about lighting for a second because it just depends on what kind of modern farmhouse you've done as to what kind of lighting you might have. So basically anything that looks salvaged, <laughs> almost Noticing salvaged a trend. stuff that looks really rustic and like it's literally pulled out of a barn. Like that's the stuff that we're removing most of the yeah. time. Like Unless your house is like 300 years old yeah. and that's the well, original you lighting want, you like want to keep it. But Right, but uh, even then. So much like, of even this, then I would take the lighting down. So much of the stuff yeah. is just, it's not real. Like it's, it's in, like it's, it was meant to look old even though they just made it in a factory. Yeah, exactly. So instead we're talking about something that's a little bit more refined, that has a little bit more polish on it. Sometimes you guys have invested in really beautiful chandeliers and brass lighting. That stuff I would keep. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that looks really sophisticated, that looks really refined and elegant, keep that. Uh, but the stuff that looks like it was- A wagon wheel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you can do those in brass, like you can do that shape in yeah. brass. Like those are beautiful, but like, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> want to do like the wagon wheel and I'm like, I just don't like them. Unless you're on like, the Ponderosa. <laughs> if you're living on the Ponderosa, go for it, but otherwise. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to be really honest with you right now and just tell you, I like, just, yeah, it's not my thing. So I think that doing more refined uh, lighting will really help take you to a, a different place with your home. So some of it you can keep, and then some of it needs to go. You've been like incredibly sweet so far. And like- The video is about what we're keeping, Jack. <laughs> this is going, I don't know where it's going. <laughs> so, but I do want to know like, what is not, what are we not keeping? No, no, we're, this is about what we are keeping, so. <laughs> what about decor then? Well, that's why we're not talking about it. <laughs> How, what about the signs? The signs need to go. 
The signs have to go. How will we know we're at the beach? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I'm like, am I in New York? Oh, beach. I'm at the beach. <laughs> Is it pray, love, eat? I can't remember the order without a sign. But I think there's a lot more to modern farmhouse than that. Like not everybody did a sign, but a lot of the decor is too rustic. So the reason that we're not talking about it is because most people didn't buy sculptural pieces for their modern farmhouses. Yeah, they, that's true. They bought like mason jars and put flowers in them. Like it's not like, it's not refined enough. You, you, a lot of people don't have enough accessories to keep. That's why we're not talking about it because <laughs> I was trying to be positive. <laughs> well, I want to be positive, but I also want to like help because you still go to the stores and you still see them. Yeah, well, I, I skip all that stuff. I'm going to be look at grab those little vases okay. right here. This is a, an example. Like if you bought something a little bit more sculptural and sophisticated, these are just from Home Goods that we found the other day. Uh, these are really affordable. Found at Home Goods, right? But it's got that sort of elevated, kind of luxurious, modern feel to them. These are awesome. This is what I would grab from yeah. Home Goods. I'm not grabbing like small little kitschy items, which is what I think a lot of the farmhouses were fill, filled with. And like boxes on the wall with like herbs growing in them. Like, <laughs> in a, like buckets rusted, hanging on the yeah. wall, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, that's the stuff we're not keeping. So if you bought decor like this and you went for a little bit more of an elevated look, like yeah, keep all that. But um, like if, if not, have a garage sale. Yeah. Like I seriously, mean, just as you can. I mean, if you go to Goodwill, you like it's like a farm, modern farmhouse graveyard. <laughs> it really is. It really is now. You can pick it up real cheap right now. Because even our kids the other day were like, mom, there's this stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah, because people are just ready for something new. Yeah. So if you have stuff like this, definitely keep this, but otherwise. And it's affordable. Like yeah, this was. Yeah, I know. This was, this was $39.99 for the big one. And yeah. that's, ex that's as, as expensive as it gets at Home Goods. Yeah, this was $30. Um, and yeah, because if it, you're going to shop from like Arterior, so like let's show them that marble, the little marble board. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the, things can be more expensive, but you need less of them. So, which, which who's this one from? Isn't this Arterior's? I don't know. Yeah, I think this one's I Arterior's. I think it's Arterior's. Yeah, yeah, so these pieces can be a little bit more expensive, but then you just don't need so many of them. So that's the nice thing. We yeah. talk about that a lot on this channel. If you're not a subscriber, you just need to be, because these are the kinds of things yeah. that we break down for you. The main thing that we want from this channel is to just help you guys. We want to empower you to create a home that you absolutely love coming home to. We don't want you to come home to a home that you're just like tired of. That feels tired. Oh my gosh, that's like the worst I thing hate ever. That feeling where you come in and you're just like, eh. mm. <laughs> then that is not okay. Your home is more than a place to sleep in. It's more than a place to eat or to watch TV. Your home re-energizes you. It makes you feel a certain way. And if you empower yourself through your design at home, it's going to empower you in your work. It's gonna make you a better oh, parent, yeah. a better sibling, a better friend, a better a coworker. Everything is gonna be better when your home just gets you excited about the life and it's just amazing and you're in awe of it. This is the kind of home that's going to change you. So this is why we make these kinds of videos. It's, and because it helps you. Like I, It helps me. We all only have limited resources and I think it's yes. if you're going to go buy money, if you're going to go to Home Goods and you can buy something that says eat, pray, love on it, or you can buy something like this, then buy something like this, because yeah. in three years, you're yeah, still gonna love it. Bowl. Show them a little bowl. Real oh, quick. I just bought this yesterday. You just bought this yesterday, okay? So this is like a cool, more like artisanal look. This is the kind of stuff that we're talking about. Buy this instead of the other stuff. This and, is awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So I think we're about out of time for this. I know, people, we could keep going. There's so many fun things. That's the thing. That's why like, we're gonna be back. We're gonna be talking about it more. We're gonna be dissecting more of these things. Leave us your comments. Leave us your questions. Let us know. You can ask us specifics about things. We literally read all of your comments. Um, if we delete the mean ones. <laughs> so we're yes. reading them. <laughs> yeah, we do read them all. We do actually read the comments because we want to be able to help you guys with specifics. So let us know in the comments what you're struggling with or what you're not sure about. You can always, we have the um, Inspired by V now where you can oh submit gosh, yeah. photos and we'll be featuring photos on upcoming videos and on our Amazon Live. Yeah, jump over to our website, houseofvalentina.com and up in the top or on your phone, you'll see it. You'll see a little thing that says, Dear V, just fill out your question. Take a picture and say, I have this rug 
Should I keep it? Should I not keep it? What do I do? How do I replace it? We're answering all your questions. We're going to be using them in the videos in the coming days. Oh, yeah. So uh, sign up there because we want to be able to help you. That's what we're really passionate about. It's what we love. And that's why we do this. So we hope you've had a fun time. We hope you've left. Well, we hope we leave you feeling inspired to create a home that you really love. And um, yeah, I'm going to find my coffee. And uh, there you go, guys. So we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. Bye.